Hi there, my name is Richie. I work on our AI products here at Podium. I'm here to talk about some improvements we've made this week to our lead follow-up automation feature for customers who use Podium's AI employee. Our lead follow-up feature is exactly what it sounds like. When a lead comes in that's being handled by your AI employee, if the lead stops responding, you can configure a series of follow-up messages to attempt to re-engage with the lead. It's a critical part of our customer's strategy to keep these warm and convert them at a higher rate. We launched a version of AI lead follow-up last year and have made a ton of improvements based on customer feedback. Let me cover the key ones before showing you what the new version looks like. Um, so the previous version of lead follow-up had a maximum of two total follow-up attempts. This new version has an unlimited amount of follow-up attempts, so you can follow up as many times as you want. The previous version had a fixed follow-up schedule, so you could configure uh, a follow-up after 20, and follow-up after 24 hours, and that was it. Um, this new one has fully customizable um, follow-up schedules, so you can configure the first follow-up to be 8 hours after the lead goes cold, the second follow-up to be 24, the third follow-up to be 72, um, fully customizable. The previous version had a single template follow-up message, which couldn't be customized uh, and wasn't contextual based on the, the type of lead or the inquiry that came in. The new version uses our AI employee to generate the message, so it's highly customized, highly catered, and personalized based on what the conversation was about before it went cold. Our previous version had limited ability to control the cancellation of follow-ups, so if for some reason the follow-up needs to be canceled, maybe the customer purchased and you don't want to um, follow up with them, you had limited ability to do that. Our new version has much more robust control over canceling follow-ups. Uh, and then lastly, our old version had a single follow-up cadence for all inquiries. Our new version allows you to set up multiple cadences based on a number of different factors. So our new lead follow-up feature is built into Podium's powerful automations platform, which gives us access to a, a number of useful features like the ability to filter follow-up messages based on CRM status. So on the left is an example of what our follow-up automation looks like. So this is a follow-up that's set to send when your AI employee gets no response after 48 hours, with a second follow-up happening after 72 hours of no response. And on the right here is an example of what that follow-up automation might look like when sent to a consumer. So you can see here the consumer decision looking for a truck, the AI employee sent a response but never heard back from the consumer. And so it sent a highly contextual personalized follow-up referencing the fact that the initial inquiry was about a truck, again, as opposed to a sort of canned default message that wasn't specific to the inquiry. You can set up our new and improved lead follow-up automation yourself in the Podium platform. Log into Podium, click Settings, then click AI Employee. You'll see a new setting section for lead follow-up. If you've already used our previous version of lead follow-up, you'll be able to see the automation here, clicking, and make any changes that you want, such as adding additional follow-up attempts or changing the follow-ups from template messages to AI-generated messages. If you haven't used our previous message, in that settings section, you'll see a different flow walking you through the process of getting set up with your automation, along with, again, the ability to customize things like cadence and filtering. Let's go through a few customization examples. Let's say I wanted to increase the number of follow-up attempts that are made. All I have to do is click this plus button here, click send AI follow-up message, and then customize the timing rules so I can change to deliver after last action, set it to 24 hours, done. And then um, click save to update my automation. And here I have moved from two follow-up attempts to three follow-up attempts, so 48 hours, and then another 24 hours after that, and then another 24 hours after that. Let's say I want to customize my lead follow-up automation to avoid following up when a contact is in a certain status. So to do that, under Audience, I select All Contacts. And here I can add filters which apply when the automation is about to run that let me be more selective about who this automation runs against. So I can select Add Filter. I can select Contact Status. And then Excludes Any Of. And then I can select One. And what this will do is if a contact status is in one, then this automation won't run, so the lead follow-up will not send. That's just a few highlights of our new lead follow-up feature. As always, if you have any questions about how to use this feature or if you're interested in Podium's AI employee for your business, reach out to your customer success manager or your onboarding manager here at Podium. We're really excited about the improvements and we hope that you are too. Thanks for watching.